In this demonstration, we're going to look at installing ESXi version 7.0. So what I've done is I've mounted the ISO file that I downloaded from VMware. It's just loading up. As we can see now, it's loading up the ESXi installer. So all we need to do is we just need to wait for it to get past this point here, load up a few modules, and then that will take us into the installer. So at this point here, all we're going to do is just pause the presentation momentarily and return back once we get to the installation screen. So as we can see, just loading through a few more of the modules. And we're now at the welcome to the installation. So all we need to do at this point here is just quickly read through, check all the compatibility guides, fairly happy with everything in place, so I'll just hit the enter key. Again, we'll just read through the end user license agreement, which I'm sure everybody does, and we'll hit the F11 key. It's now going to go away and scan for places to actually install ESXi version 7. Uh, what we found here is we found a local disk. The local disk is 40 gig in size, so we're happy with that. So we don't need to change anything else. We'll just hit the enter key. I'm in the United Kingdom, so I am just going to change the keyboard to United Kingdom. I need to enter a root password and then confirm the password. And the password must be complex. So all I'm going to do at this point here is enter in my password. Then what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to re-enter the password. And as we can see, it very nicely tells us that the passwords do match. So we'll hit the enter key. Just reading through again. So we are going to install ESXi version 7 onto the disk. And the disk will be repartitioned. So if there is anything on there, it's unfortunately going to get wiped. Fairly happy to blank disk. We'll hit F11 at this point here to install the ESXi operating system. Now this is going to take just a few minutes for it to install, so all we'll do at this point here is we'll just pause this presentation and return back once the installation is complete. As we can see, ESXi is now installed, so we will remove the installation media, and at this point here we'll just hit the enter key. It's going to shut down, it's going to do a reboot. As it says here, it's not going to take too long for it to do this, but rather than watch the screen, again we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the reboot is complete and the operating system is loaded. And as we can see, ESXi is now installed, and that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.